We begin with something that's really been plaguing our city all of this new year, shootings. They just do not seem to stop. Police responded to yet another one overnight. This time investigators say the victim was an innocent bystander. She's expected to be okay. But as Lindsay Nadrich learned, this latest incident adds to the already astounding number of shootings in Portland just this year. Lindsay? Yeah, this is a serious problem that's been going on for a while. Last year, police were on pace to respond to nearly 400 shootings. This year, they've already responded to 57 shootings. It is important to note, though, that number does include everything from homicides to accidental shootings. This is video from the latest shooting. It happened at Northeast 7th Avenue and Northeast Weidler Street just before 2 a.m. Police say a woman was shot while in her car, waiting in the drive through line at Taco Bell. And according to investigators, she was just an innocent bystander. She drove herself to the hospital and is expected to be okay. This shooting, though, is just the latest in a string of incidents. Last week, we spoke with Sergeant Kenneth Julio, who's been part of the Portland Police Bureau's gun violence reduction team for nearly a decade. He says the team is working hard to reduce the number of shootings by doing enhanced patrols and confiscating guns. For example, on Friday, the team seized a loaded gun from a felon during a traffic stop. Sergeant Julio, though, says there's no one answer, and the current shortage of officers makes it tough to keep up. We've had kind of a staffing crisis here the last several years, and so that's fewer cops, fewer cops out doing self-initiated work, and I know that definitely can impact you know, trying to stay on top of, you know, escalating gun violence. Our unit, uh, we have decent numbers, but, you know, for the number of shootings, it's, it's, it's a lot. You know, we're just, a lot of times we feel like we're just trying to keep our, our head above water, trying to keep up with the next shooting that comes in. Police say they see a lot of the same people involved in the shootings, so besides arresting them, they're trying to work with them to break that cycle of violence. Pat. Thanks, Lindsay.